All right, so let's say I've stamped something onto a surface, whether it's a tag or an artist trading card or even a piece of scrap paper, and then you go to use your overlay that you need to position around your image to put your registration marks, but your registration marks actually fall off of your surface. In other words, you have nowhere to dot those. Well, what can you do? Here is a great tip, a quick solution. I'm going to take my cutting mat, and I'm just going to position this. You can position this anywhere on the mat. I think putting it in the center makes it just a little bit easier to work with. And of course, this is our sticky mat for the Eclipse. And you're just going to take a couple of scraps of paper. They could be post-it notes. They could be whatever you want them to be. Because you're not really going to need them after this. I'm going to place this down. And I can see where my registration marks fall on my cutting mat. So I'm just going to go in. And you're just going to lift this up and just put a little scrap piece of paper there. I'll lift this up. Remember, this is a repositionable adhesive, so don't worry about that. And now I've got scraps of paper just where my registration marks are. Of course, this is going right around my image perfect. So now I can go in with my pen, and I'll just go and dot right through both of those holes that I've already pierced in there. And we'll go ahead and remove this. Let me just bend this a little bit. And that's still going to leave our registration marks, and we're ready to cut. Now, I put it on the mat, put it in the machine, and now I'm going to go. There's my car right there on the stamp to cut. I've got that set, and I'm just ready to cut that out. So I'm going to hit cut. It's asking me for the registration marks. So I'm just going to go in. And that's, remember, you can use the entire surface of this cutting mat. So wherever you want to place it, you don't always have to position stuff right in that upper corner. So I'm just going to use this. There we go on that one. Hit OK. It's going to go down. Now because I stamped my car at an angle, you see how it thinks the registration mark is over there, but it isn't. It's down here. So again, you don't have to always stamp your images perfectly straight. It's however you do it because you're the one that is letting the machine know where your stamp design is. So there we go. We have that second one. The laser went dim. We're going to hit that. Let's get that one set. Lower right. There we go. It's just, it's such, a, it's so darn forgiving. There we go. Whoop. It's like a video game. There we go. I hit OK. Now it's just going to tell me ready to cut. Great, we're ready to cut. We're going to hit the scissor. Let it do its thing right there on the tag. So this time it's actually going to go right on. So whether it was a, a gift tag already or, I don't know, the front of an envelope or a card perhaps that you already did, or maybe you wanted to put a scrapbook page down and you actually want to cut right out of your scrapbook page, you stamp anywhere you want and it will cut anywhere you do it. And so even if you didn't want to leave those marks on your scrapbook, you could just use this like as post-it notes and put that down so you can do your registration marks. All right, so we're going to take this out. And we'll show you here, we'll take our tag, peel that back. So this is pretty cool too because, I mean, look at that shape. I can take that car and just use that as a frame and layer this on my other tag. But here's my stamp design. Let me get my trusty spatula out. Lift that right off the mat. Look at that. Yes, windows and all. Take this piece out. There's all the little windows cut. I mean, cool. Check out the details. So one thing I want to show you about this is... Although I love that this is stamp to cut, there's no doubt that that's what makes this whole program so cool for me. The fact is that these cartridges still have this shape. In other words, even if you don't have the stamp for this car, just flip it over and see, you would still have the car shape, which means because this is an electronic cutter, you could go in and resize any of these cuttable shapes. So the jalopy, if you didn't want it to be the original stamp size, you could cut it out. Oh, I don't know. Really big. Look at that. That's just on, I just went in and cut it on a 12 by 12 paper. So I just, there you go. Make it really big. Cut it out of whatever you want. Or on the flip side, shrink it down. Cut it out really small. Because you can resize these designs as well because this is still a cartridge that has all of the designs on it. So use it for stamp to cut, of course. Use it for any size.